Hello. So today for day seven, we are going to clean the kitchen chairs. Now before I show you my kitchen chairs, I need to do a little backstory here. He's downstairs sleeping or I would show him to you. We have a kitten. He's like three months old and he had a very, very hard start to start to life. Um, he had severe diarrhea, which was being caused by constipation. I'm fully aware how weird that sounds, but it's the truth. He was very constipated and liquid kept coming out from, anyway, I'm not gonna go into too much more story there. But anyway, so because of this, he had bowel incontinence. Okay, now he has gotten better. He still has bowel incontinence, but it's now hard poop, so all we gotta do is just pick it up, put him in the poop in the litter box. But here's the problem, is it doesn't happen nearly as much now as it used to. Now it's like maybe once a week that this happens. So sometimes it gets by me, or if he doesn't quite make it to the litter box in time. It happens. Yeah, he's still learning and learning his new bum. So because of this, we get as anyone has seen any of my videos, I call them little pucker marks because it sounds better than what they actually are, but they are pucker marks. So we get them all throughout the house right now. But like I said, it's slowing down. So with that said, yes, I do believe I have I have one chair with some pucker marks on it, which actually is pretty good because I did clean the chairs last week. And so this must have just happened in the past day or two. Okay, so with that said, we're gonna clean the chairs. So do not judge. We have a kitten who is still learning his bow. Okay, okay. So to do this, we've got a Enviro cloth which after this, it's gonna to go to be washed. And I have the carpet stain remover. I have found that this works very well to get rid of tiny little booker marks. <laughs> and it doesn't affect anybody. So if anybody has a kitten like I do, and you get lots of pucker marks everywhere, I highly recommend the carpet stain cleaner and an cloth. And for the, you know, really stubborn, the really stubborn pucker marks, get your rubber brush here and get it wet, kind of go at it. I haven't had any of those since like we first got him when he was on carpet. Anyway, um, okay. So let's get to it. We're gonna clean the kitchen chairs. All right, so we are gonna take the carpet stain remover. We're just gonna give these a spray. Really emphasize it on the pucker mark areas. Okay, now we're gonna let that sit. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna let it sit, but we're going to take our rubber brush the chairs like so. This is not cooperating with me today. Here we go. Glory. 
kitchen chairs are nicely cleaned up. Let's go. Wipe the packs here a little bit. But, all done. Doesn't take very much to get the kitchen chairs clean. All we're gonna do now is just let them sit and dry. They'll be dry before anybody goes to use them. All right, so hope everybody enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you again really soon. Bye.